Hello, good morning, and welcome to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, The Juicy Review Show, brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Now, the company we're going to be concentrating on this time will be Ascension Vapors. They very kindly sent me six of their range. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into two bids of three, so you guys out there don't get a numb ass while watching. Uh, just quickly take you through the bottle. Uh, so, an American company, um, all juices that will be reviewed are high VG, a max VG. And here we have it. Here is this lovely, lovely bottle. I have to admit, I'm very impressed with the actual bottles. They're very nice. Um, take you through the safety features. Um, all bottles come heat shrunk plastic wrapped, down to about halfway around the bottle, so you've got your tamper proof there. They also have. I don't know, you can see I've broke it here. The sticker on the side here, and I'll just get that round there. The sticker on the side here goes all the way down. And if this is ripped in any way, shape, or form, you know that someone has had a little go in that bottle. Whilst I like that one, I think actually the heat strong plastic is enough because unfortunately, afterwards, you can see on there, it looks a bit tossed. It looks a bit tatty after you've opened it, and you'd be very tempted just to rip it off. And of course, that's where the warnings are. So, yeah, I'd, I'd rather just see the heat shrunk plastic, and maybe that just as a sticker on there. On the warning front, uh, blah, blah, essential papers, or six, uh, six milligrams per milliliter of nicotine, maximum VG. Ingredients: VG, PG, nicotine, natural and artificial flavours. Only real warning on there is keep away from children and pets. I'd like to see a not to be sold for under 18s on there. Maybe with the 18 with the slash symbol through it. Oh look, yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more on the wall in front there. I know there's not a lot of space on the bottle due to the design and everything, but I would like to see a little bit more. And like I say, in this bit, I mean to be fair, you, after you've done that, you're going to want to rip that off, and you can't smooth that top bit down. You're going to rip that bit off as well, and then you've got no warnings. Yeah, it's, it's all right. My weapon of choice today will be the Vapor Sharp RDNA 40, and that has got a freak show dual coiled to 0.6 on top. I also like to stress for the purposes of this video, I've not paid for this product. I've been given this product for review and for review purposes only. And also, please remember, taste and personal setup will alter the flavour of this juice. There's stuff that I like that you don't like, and vice versa. Let's get this show on the road. Right, I'm going to start off today with the orange tic tac toe. I'm going to say six milligrams. Oh, and of course, as industry standard now, chocolate lid. Which normally means me proof lid. Oh, no, actually, one of the better ones. The smell from the bottle is of a very strong orange. Ooh, that smells nice. Let's do a little bit of a painting job here. Because however much I like the freak show, you have to paint it on instead of actually properly dripping it on. Because it has got a tendency to go down the air holes if you're not careful. There we go. Right, I'm going to start off at 23.4 watts, which is 3.7. So basically your average ego battery, and then we'll go, we'll go up as we go. As you can see, even at low power, vapour production is absolutely superb. We've got a lovely, voluptuous cloud come out, silky smooth cloud. Flavour wise, is it's there. I, I'm assuming, that I'm, I'm hoping this gets better as we go up. Throat hit is not too bad. There is a little bit of one. You do know, you do know you've taken something in, but it's not overpowering. It's not going to be giving much damage. But since there's a max VG, I'm actually quite surprised there's a fruit hit. Right, the flavour's starting to come through now, but it's not what I'd call a, a strong flavour. It's not as strong as the actual smell from the bottle. 
I am around, uh, uh, around the back ends of the tongue getting the um, sherbet effect, which is un which I have to admit isn't unpleasant. It is quite nice. Tell you what, I'll go 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 there. Yeah, I'm going to speak English. That'd be good stuff. I'm going to go up. There we go. Go to 27.2 watts, which is just over four volts. Yeah, vapor. <coughs> well, hello. Vapor production is stupidly good. Flavour's coming out a lot more now. It's a very nice orange, I have to admit. Just like Tic Tac, when you get that orange and it just makes your, t makes your tongue tingle because the sherbet element of it as well. And it makes your mouth water because it's a really juicy orange. Fruit hit's gone up a little bit, but then orange Tic Tac can come across as a bit of a dry flavour anyway. Just like an orange Tic Tac when you crunch into it and you get all that powdered hard stuff in the centre. <coughs> but the flavour is nice. It's one of those lip smackers. Because the orange is that juicy, you mm, mm, it's a bit of a nom nom. And after the exhale, you, the inhale and the exhale are kind of the same flavour. It's just after the exhale is finished, you do get the kind of sherbet -y tingle on the tongue. Fizz. Mm, that's nice. I'm going to go up again. I'm going to whack it up this time. Well, let's whack it up as much as you can on, di on DNA forward. There you go. I've got 34 watts, so that's four and a half volts. I can't see. <coughs> yeah, I'm kind of gathering that I'm going to be going up high on most of these anyway because of the maximum VG element. But the flavour absolutely floods the mouth. These demand the power. No, well, I say that, I'm just going on one here, but the. Mm, oh, that really does flood the mouth with the orange. And the fizzy tingle at the end is. Mmm. Really, really nice. Um, Flavour wise. Good vapor production, good fruit hit. There is a little bit of a fruit hit. If you're not one a fan of the fruit hit, you may be taking a little bit of surprise. There is a little bit of irritation on the fruit as you do inhale, um, but that is definitely going into my all day rotation. As I say, because I, I, I drip more than tank, um, I don't know why me and tanks are just not the best of friends. So I drip more than tank, and I normally take out about four bottles with me and just have a bit of a rotation through the day because I, I can't do one flavour all day, but that will be definitely going into the rotation. Right, let's just grab a quick blowout and then we we'll go on to the next one. And the next one is hazelnut creme. Now, one thing I have found with these bottles after I received them, when I initially tried them out, out of the box, all the flavours came out harsh. But after a couple of days breathing, they mellowed right out. So they, I did find that after transit, they did need a couple of days and a couple of shaky days just to actually get them back into what they should be. Ah, we're good to go. We're good to turn this. We'll turn this down to thirty. I'm just going to start from thirty, will these, and then go up from there. Alright, now this one, I will admit, hasn't had because of. Ah, there we go, child proof, to the rescue. Ah, we're in. I don't know why I have so much trouble with child proof lids. Ooh. I'll tell you exactly what that smells like. That smells like a Ferrero Rocher. Ooh. I like Ferrero Rocher. 
If any of you want to send me a box of Ferrero Rocher, that'd be most appreciated. I really would. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, once again, six milligrams, maximum VG. Let's have a little blast on this. Alright, as I said, I'm starting this one higher off. I'm going to start off on 30. So it's about 4.2 volts. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Mmm. Oh, hang on. Be with me in a minute. I'm done with all this. Vapor, but I can't even talk with that much. Vapor production is superb. <coughs> oh dear, that caught me while well, worrying. Flavor, flavor is absolutely gorgeous. It's got, it's a, it's a Ferrero Rocher without the chocolate. You get this really lovely, oh, crunchy hazelnut flavor straight away, and then round about the middle. The cream just takes over and blends in with perfectly, so you get this lovely, creamy, nutty exhale. Oh, and the cream is very rich. Oh, we're not talking about your own brand supermarket cream here, cool. Oh. Really does envelop the mouth with the creamy goodness of that one. Cool, I'm going to go up a little bit. Go up to 34. Well, for what we go from these juices, believe me, it's going to be a rum filler. Flavour of oh, the cream. Get a lot. It's like when you add a sugary donut on your, on your lips afterwards. The cream effects right there, right on the end of your tongue. So you, and for even afterwards, every exhale you do just reactivates the actual creaminess of the flavour, and you've still got that kind of nutty texture in your mouth. That is superb. Oh, it really does, it, like I said, it really does coat and envelop the whole mouth with the creamy goodness. I'm going to end the review for that one here. That is just so going into my rotation. I can't find where I put the bottle. There it is. No, it isn't. There it is. <laughs> Hazelnut crow. If you're a nutty fan, if you're a creamy fan, get hold of a bottle of that now. That is absolutely superb. Now, the prices for these guys are well, they're good. Let's put it that way. 15 millilitres is $9.99 and I think it goes up, yeah, it goes up to 50 millilitres and I think that's 19.99. So I mean the prices are good and so far from the two I've tried, so are the actual juices. It's always handy. I'm going to have, well actually I'm going to have one more go on this because it's so good. And then I'll get on to the final one. Thank you. The top trumps card of that juice is the cream. The hazelnut is good, but that cream is really good. Oh, just like I said, um, did actually have a word with the company. Um, all ingredients that are put into all their juices have been tested and cleared for DAP. Especially in this day and age, it, it's good to know. It's good to know that companies are actually taking the time to research the ingredients they're putting into it and the final product. Alright, just give this a quick blow out. And we'll go to the last one. Because the last one's a bit bizarre. I actually had to do a little bit of research on this last one because the name meant it meant, <laughs> meant absolutely nothing to me. It's the Lambic Black. That meant nothing, Lamic Black. It meant nothing to me whatsoever. So I did a little bit of research. 
and it's basically a Belgian beer. No, that unfortunately meant I should have known this because I, I'm quite partial to it. They're the ones that when you go to the supermarket, are some un, for some unknown reason, while on the shelf, are already wrapped in paper. Who knows why, but they are. Anyway, I've gone this one. I'm getting... I'm definitely getting raspberry. And a, a <laughs> bizarre... I'm finding this bizarre. A beery undernote. <laughs> now, I've had beer ones before. And they've been pretty tossed, to be honest, up to this point. I think I had a uh, Juicy Vape, that's gone back a while now, a Juicy Vape, a Saturday Night Special, I believe it was called, which was supposed to be a beer flavoured one, and it just tasted like stale ale that had been poured into an ashtray. It was, it really was horrible. And I've had a couple of others, and the closest they got to it was Shandy. That's why I'm just having a bash Shandy. It was still bizarre. There we go, oh, I'm going to go back down to 30. Then we'll see what this little puppy can do. Vape of Dutch, as you can see, once again, top notch. No fruit hit whatsoever on that. Flavour. This is going to be a Marmite one for a lot of people because it is just generally a tad bizarre. You, you get a nice raspberry stroke under hint fusion in your mouth, under hint of a beer the <laughs> fusion in your mouth. The Exile's pure beer. I kind of like it because I kind of like um, Belgian beers anyway. But it's probably one of the it is the best beer one I've ever tasted. But then to be fair, the standard was quite low to start off with on these. But it does work. Exhaling afterwards, oh, you're still getting the beer, the fruit. You get the, you get a lot. Say you get a lovely fusion of the beer and the fruit at the beginning, and you get a beer enhancement on the way out. I will admit, further exhales out, and you're still tasting beer. This definitely won't be an all-day vape, but this would be one that I'd show to people. It's bizarrely nice, but it's not one I could keep doing. It's got to 34 again. To be fair, any of these juices will be absolutely superb in cloud chasing competitions. I could see somewhere in the future these guys actually sponsoring cloud competitions somewhere. Like flame wash, it is nice. It's just the beery exhale it does get a little bit much when you're constantly doing it. It feels like you've had a night on the town. <coughs> you have to excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in two minds about this one. It's nice. It's been blended well, but the lingering aftertaste of beer. <laughs> After a while, I think I could get a little bit sick of. But it has been done well. If you like Rus if Russian beers, mm, if you like Belgian beers or any of those fruit infused type aisles and stuff like that, yes, you will like this juice. It is nice, but it is a bit bizarre. But I can, it is going to divide people. But people who like that sort of thing, yeah, buy that. You're going to love it. If you're not, if you're not a beery type of person, just yeah, you, you ain't going to be bothered by that. Well, that brings me to the end of part one of my review on Ascension Vapors. Um, hopefully in the next day or so I should get part two up as well. So, on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the Department of Inhaled Vapors, I wish you all a very good day and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.